Hello, Alexers. Everyone wants to be a billionaire, right? But the more we thought about it, the more we realize most people don't really take the time to identify the strings such wealth comes with. We believe everyone should build wealth in order to obtain freedom, but there are some things one should prepare for. By the end of this piece, we aim to explore the different ways an abundance of money might negatively impact your life. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number one, it'll take all of your time, energy, and focus to do it. Billionaire is such a big goal, it can take between 20 to 50 years to get there. The average age of billionaires is 66 years old. A very small percentage get there before the age of 40, and it involves incredible tech, money, luck, and timing. Here's something nobody wants to hear. Building wealth is a lengthy, boring, and tiresome process. Your brain never stops working, you are constantly in a state of stress, and this happens over multiple decades. Everyone who's an entrepreneur knows that when you lay in bed at night, the brain keeps going, to a point where you must force yourself to sleep. This is the important difference in the scale of the target between millionaire and billionaire. One million seconds is 11 days, 1 billion seconds is 31 years. Sure, you work hard, play hard, but all of this stress is taking a toll on your mind and body. If all you're doing is playing for status along the way, you'll realize it's not worth it. Number 2. You worry about your kids and family more, not less. Everybody worries about the members of their family, but the rich have even more to worry about because there's a lot more at stake. Wealth puts a big red target on your back, and people will use any means to get some of that wealth for themselves. Beyond the level of physical danger such as kidnappings, you worry about fake friends or fake romance who are only interested in your kids for financial gains. There is also the idea of spoiling your kids because fundamentally we all want our kids to live lives better than we did. But Sheikh Rashid of Dubai has a great quote saying, my grandfather rode a camel, my father rode a camel, I drive a Mercedes, my son drives a Land Rover, his son will drive a Land Rover, but his son will ride a camel. It takes a while to understand it, but it's the truth, it's why most fortunes are lost in three to four generations. The fundamental idea is that hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. The cyclical nature of life continues. Making sure your kids grow up with true values and the purpose of instilling them with every generation is a must. This is one of the main reasons why we created Alux and the New Parents YouTube channel which we encourage you to subscribe to. Number 3. Everyone around you is on payroll. The more your wealth grows, the more people around you your life requires. Almost all of them are on a payroll. Although you befriend most of them in time, there will always be an imbalance of power in your relationships, and no matter how close you get, this imbalance doesn't go away. Most people won't dare tell you to your face if you're wrong or do things that would displease you because it would affect their bottom line. On a long enough work scale, you end up spending more time with your assistants than with your loved ones, and even when you're not around your paid staff, there's still a target on your back. Number 4. Everybody has an agenda There's this funny anecdote we heard from a very wealthy individual that said, Being a billionaire is like being a tall woman. Blonde hair, long legs, big breasts, a perfect 10. The moment you enter a room, everybody there wants to screw you. You'll constantly question the motives of everyone you interact with because history teaches you to be worried about all of them because you've been burned in the past. It's not clear immediately, but it doesn't take long before the relationship eventually ends up at the topic of money and how they have the perfect opportunity for you. This is why wealthy people seclude themselves at the top of high-rise towers to put distance between them and those asking for their money. Number 5. After $50 million, there's little to no significant impact to your life. 
what people actually want is the billionaire lifestyle. Well, we have great news for you. The billionaire lifestyle actually requires $50 million. Sure, you don't own a $500 million yacht, but you can rent one. You don't need to have your own private plane to always fly private, and your budget affords you to rent any home anywhere in the world. Around roughly the $50 million mark, no matter where you live in the world, you would still have the same lifestyle as someone who's worth $250 million or more. There's a point in your wealth building journey where you hit a spending ceiling. Unless you make it your priority to burn through money no matter how much you spend, you're still going to be okay. $50 million earning 10% interest per year results in a spending budget of $5 million every year. We're guessing you could live well spending only $5 million per year. A while back, we made a phenomenal video called 15 Rules That Make You Rich and Your Life Easy, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. In it, we break down exactly how the rich structure their spending and make their investments, and you'll find it super valuable. Number 6. You become out of touch with real life Interviewers love asking rich people the same trivial questions, like, do you know how much a carton of eggs costs or a gallon of milk? Although the question is annoying, there's actually some meat on that bone. Building wealth requires super-focused tunnel vision on the situation at hand. For extended periods of time, you only know what's going on in your industry and around your business. You rarely pay attention to the news or cultural events because you're too busy building instead of learning the names of all the Kardashians. It might not matter much when it comes to who's the current bachelor, but this out-of-touch phenomenon quickly expands into other, more important things. How many of you know who their kid's best friend is? What number or letter class they're in? Because every decision you have to make has a lot at stake. Trivial problems of other people seem non-significant to you, but it is significant to them. This is especially true if you grew up with money. You're so distant from the way most people live that your mind can't grasp just how hard it is for everyone to do things that you take for granted. Number 7 people will think you're evil and hoarding resources. You will be criticized by people who don't even know you. We really wanted to address this argument because there is a hate going on toward the billionaire class. For some reason, super left-wing individuals think that every billionaire out there, when they're not swimming in the gold coin vault like Scrooge McDuck, they have a secret agenda ruining the lives of everyone in poverty in order to hoard resources for themselves. These people do not understand basic economics. Every single billionaire out there is a paper billionaire. They own shares in companies that they built that are now valued by everyone else at an incredible amount of money. In order to get those shares worth so much, you have to build companies and products that people find valuable enough to pay for. In order to produce these products, you need to hire people at competitive rates, otherwise the competition would hire them. Nobody is sitting on billions of dollars in cash making paper airplanes and lighting cigars with $100 bills. Most economists agree that for every billion dollars a person is worth, their enterprise generates in excess of $10 billion in value for the consumers out there. Nobody's going around taking grandma's money. It's actually you who enjoys ordering things on Amazon and having them arrive the same day as if it were magic. Number 8. Politics now plays a role in your life. No matter how much you want to stay out of politics, it will hunt you down and it will find you. A billion dollar business is a blessing to the geography in which it finds itself, so the local council wants to make sure you don't move your headquarters somewhere else. The government wants you to keep creating jobs and doing commerce because that's how we're going to keep score of how rich a country is. The business environment and the political world are, to some degree, unfortunately intertwined. Why? Because politicians have legalized bribery in the form of financial support from corporations. They don't call it bribery, in the US they call it lobbying, but the premise is basically the same. You give money to your politicians, help them get re-elected, and when they do, they pass laws that favor, or at least, don't harm you. 
We are in this very weird period in history where the political medium is driven by for-profit corporations looking out for their own best interests. Most countries where forms of lobbying are in play have essentially become a corporatocracy. As a billionaire, these politicians will come after your money and threaten your lack of support with harsh measures that could hurt your business and favor your competitors. Number 9. You'll be compared to Elon and Jeff We'll put aside that for some reason the term billionaire has a negative connotation among the $14 for an avocado toast generation. For everyone else, money is what defines you now, and since money and wealth are actually numerical, it's easy to rank them. The same thing that's done with sports is being done with money now. There's a hall of fame, there are ongoing rankings, and so on. Nobody cares if you've made it into the NBA. How well do you stack up against Jordan or LeBron? There will always be someone who makes more money than you, and even if you do make it to the very top, it's just a matter of time until somebody else overtakes you, since there are no limitations when it comes to wealth, especially now when governments decide to print more and more money. It doesn't matter how much you've done. In the eyes of everyone else, you should still be doing more. Number 10. It's only a status game. If you've been subscribed to us for a while, you know we encourage you stop playing status games. You want to build wealth with the purpose of being free from the game of money. The moment you begin playing status games, you're back in the game of money where you need to show off. Your position in the social hierarchy is not determined by the number of digits before the decimal. Instead, it's by how happy and impactful you are. Being worth $4 billion and someone else being worth 5 doesn't take away from you or make you less of a person than the other one. Once you cross a certain threshold, money loses value. Unless you're looking to play the high score game where who you are connects to how much money you have, and what an awful way to go through life that is. Build as much wealth as you want to, but be careful because at some point, more money becomes just too expensive. What's the point of adding $5 billion to your $85 billion fortune if it means working under stress for the next 24 months of your life? This might sound ridiculous to the average person whose brain can't even comprehend the idea that one could work two years for $5 billion, but remove a bunch of zeros and see where you end up. If you were worth $850,000, would you work the next 24 months to add another $50,000? It's all about perspective. At this stage of the game, your assets are doing the work for you, so unless you genuinely want to work for the purpose of enjoyment or humanitarian progress, one has no reason to do so. You already won. If you want to build income-generating assets that eventually take you to financial freedom, we have an incredible video called 15 Assets That Make People Rich, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. Once you know what kind of assets generate wealth, you'll stop playing status games and begin building long-term sustainable wealth. Number 11. Material Gifts Lose Value and Importance what do you gift someone who has everything? You end up with those crazy packages of nothing you find on Amazon where you're literally just giving them an empty package. Link in the description. The only material things you still want are way outside of everyone else's budget, so material gifts are out of the picture. The only thing left are personal experiences, and truth be told, you're starting to check those off pretty quickly since even those can be tied up to money as you can't get lost with the love of your life on the streets of Florence without flying to Florence in the first place. People don't know what to get you, so they get you random things that add more clutter than value to your life. Number 12. Finding true love is almost impossible. If you're not one of the lucky few who find true love before the explosion of wealth, good luck finding that philosopher's stone. Not only will you constantly question the motives of everyone you develop romantic relationships with, but we as humans are bonded by our struggles and your struggles aren't the same as everyone else's. We've now overcome the age of the trophy wife, and most successful individuals look for a solid partner that can hold their own, and that's where things get really complicated. 
less than 11% of billionaires in the world are female. That's one female billionaire for every nine male billionaires. Also, keep in mind that most of them are 60 years old. So, what most billionaires choose to do is to find someone who makes a great life partner and hope that they will, over time, develop a level of care that kinda looks like love. Number 13. You feel like you lost your right to complain. You can't complain about anything when you're rich. People out there have different kinds of problems than you do, and they wished they were in your position. That's why everything you complain about goes through the you rich though filter. What they don't know is that in reality, it's exactly like Biggie said, mo money, mo problems. Not because of your wealth, but because of how many pieces you've got moving around you and they're all somewhat connected. The only people left to complain to are your super close inner circle and other rich people, which is why most of these individuals play golf amongst themselves. They use it as a therapy session. Number 14. Your wealth overshadows your other characteristics. It doesn't matter how multifaceted of an individual you are, people will only see the money. We're plurivalent people. We're more than one of our characteristics. Yet because money is such an important part of society, people will always default to money in their characterization of who you are. This is especially true if you get the money first and then go after everything else. They see whatever your passions are as just a pet project where a rich person is throwing some money at for their entertainment. But here's some food for thought through a cultural example. Kanye West went from artist to billionaire. But would you see someone like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, or Warren Buffett do it the other way around? Probably not. Even if they did a really good job at painting or acting, you'd still see them as a billionaire who paid their way to fame. Number 15. You feel isolated. We are 8 billion people on this planet right now. As of making this piece, there are only 2,755 billionaires in the world. Your problems are different, your choices are different, your relationships are different. Everything about your life is different, and no matter how much you'd like to say you didn't change much, wealth has changed your environment, your decision-making processes, and your relationships. This is why they say it's lonely at the top, because most of your interactions outside of your safe circle are people asking for things from you. The body's natural reaction is to withdraw, to isolate to safety. This is why billionaires are buying Hawaii piece by piece. They want to be left alone as far away from the bustle of the city as possible. But despite all of these, achieving such levels of wealth allows you to push humanity forward in the ways the governments lack the expertise or brain power to do. With great wealth comes great responsibilities or whatever Uncle Ben said, so make sure it's to be a force of good in the world. The more you think about the weight wealth will put on your shoulders, we're curious to learn about how you, the Aluxer, thinks about this. So we're asking, how do you think your life would change if you had a large amount of money? With a focus on the things you would have to deal with, we really want to hear from you in the comments. And as for the true Aluxers who are always watching these Sunday motivational videos until the very end, here's your bonus. Billionaire is the new millionaire. We're living in one of the absolute best times in the history of humankind to build wealth, and we believe strongly that billionaires are the new millionaires, and if we're not there yet, it'll happen very soon. We did our research, and if you look back at the 1960s, the data is available from Oregon State University and census.org. There are about 80,000 millionaires in 1961 to 1962. There are close to 3,000 billionaires right now. Social media and the internet have managed to provide a massive financial multiplier to those who already have fame. If you add to that some business acumen, you end up with a new wave coming with the advanced monetization of fan bases. We bashed the Kardashians earlier in the video, but Kim, Kanye, and Kylie have all three crossed the billion dollar net worth threshold. Jay-Z is a billionaire, Jordan is a billionaire, LeBron is a billionaire. The peak performers in every space could convert their influence into money if they find the product market fit. But how does this translate to you? 
While the peak is slowly moving from millionaire to billionaire, it's never been easier than it is today to transition from poverty to millionaire status. We even have a playlist dedicated to this specifically if you're looking for more info on it. It's your job to use the information and this new technological wave to build your future and we can't wait to see what you build. We believe some of the people watching this video right now are tomorrow's millionaires and eventually billionaires. It's time to prove us right. If you made it here and believe this to be true, write tomorrow in the comment section because tomorrow is all up for grabs.